That's not small. As long as he's not snagged. Oh my oh goodness! My What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's finally Cole and Jay. And we are out here in the mountains to do some fishing. Yes. Jay, I'm so glad you're here. I'm happy to be here. It's been I'm miserable so without you. <laughs> it's been tough. It's been tough, guys. So Jay has literally not made a fishing video since March the 1st. Wow. And it's what's today? July 20 something? Wow, that's crazy. Oh, but we finally got her out of retirement. She's finally out of her hiatus. She's been cleared by all doctors and experts that she can go out and uh, make some make some risky decisions and walk on some slimy rocks out here in the middle of the woods and it'll be all right if she falls basically <laughs> I've been cleared by my babies too yeah they cleared by okay babies. without me for a few hours <laughs> yeah so we decided to travel out in the middle of nowhere to a river that we've never fished before mm -hmm. we're here deep in the washita mountains usually we're in the ozarks we're in the yeah. washita's and we've actually got this creek right here it flows into a river that's up that way i guess it flows out of i guess i don't know where the river's at i guess it's down there I'm confused where I'm at right now. I'm so <laughs> lost. We we drove through a huge like hurricane. We were supposed to be here in two hours. It took us like three hours. We drove yeah. through some sketchy roads, like roads that were like made of this kind of rock. It was crazy. But, but we made it. We made it and we're here and we're excited to see what lives here. We love exploring new bodies of water. The Ozarks and Washita's are full of little creeks and rivers and streams mm -hmm. that have a bunch of different species of fish. And uh, today we're gonna target whatever's out here. We hope to catch a small mouth, maybe some large mouths and spots, some green sunfish. We'll see what happens. What I love about this spot is that the starting hole looks great. We have this big run of water coming from like way up there. We have this big deep hole. And if you look, we got this big rock and this big backwater. And it honestly just looks super juicy. I feel like there's gonna be something big right there. So we can start the day off with a big fish in the first hole, that'd be great. We got a big long pool this way. I think there's some shoals by, based on looking at the maps, it should be decent. But we're just ready to get after it. It's been too long since we've been able to get here together and do some fishing. So guys, if y'all are excited for today's fishing trip and for Jay's return to the channel, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's get after it. Let's go. Had a bite. There we go, I knew it. What is that? Oh, that's how we're starting the day. That's how we're starting the day right there. Two casts in, and we've got a pretty sizable green sunfish. You bit the little shaky head worm. Jay's throwing a wacky worm, unweighted, just in the shallower stuff. But we had to throw the little bottom dweller to get in that little deep hole. That's a pretty stocky one. It'd be cool if we get some big ones out here today. I ain't mad at it. It's a really beautiful fish. We're gonna send him back and we're just gonna get some big smallies. Yeah, let's keep, let's go ahead and move down a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, it's Molly. We were literally seconds away from uh, abandoning this deep hole and uh, this little guy struck it right in front of me on the edge of that big rock. I assume there was smallmouth in here, but you never know. But that's an awesome sign. He's not a monster, but uh, I have high hopes for this place. We're gonna find some big ones today. Got him, got him. Oh, that's a good one, get him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. That's a big one, JJ. Get that thing. Oh, big smallie. Yes. Woo. That is awesome. All right, there is my first fish of the day. Honestly, my first fish in a long time. It's been so long since I've caught a fish, it's crazy. But man, this is a good way to start the trip off. I hope we can catch a bigger one. I'm gonna let this fish go and we're gonna get back after it. All right, so we started going downstream a little bit and there's a big hole and it's pretty deep. It looks good, but it's really hard to navigate and not get all of our camera equipment wet. So we've decided to take our stuff upstream. There's honestly more flow, there's more shallow riffles. And I think if we can find some little bit bigger pools or deeper holes, we can find fish more concentrated and easier to catch. On the maps, it looks good here. 
So we're gonna go up this way, at least turn the corner and see what it looks like. But if not, we're gonna scrap this area and go to another one. There's so many places up here to fish, so many bodies of water and creeks, and I know we'll run into them eventually, but we're not gonna get up on this area just yet. Oh yeah, oh, smokes. Oh yeah, oh, that's a good one. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's not even a smallie. Is it not? Oh my gosh, look at all the smallies in it. Look at oh all the fish gosh. in it. That's a giant green sunfish what though. What in the world? I thought for sure. Double up, biggin. Whoa. Biggin. Get up here. Oh my gosh. Ooh. That's a good one. Dude, this, this green sunfish is huge. That is a huge green sunfish. <laughs> Daily double. Daily double. <laughs> So I'm glad we decided to come upstream. Honestly, guys, whenever you're fishing rivers and creeks, it's best to do, and it's best to walk upstream. That way you don't really spook the fish. There's literally, yeah, there was I mean, a bunch there of was fish like, chasing there was, yours. There was like a, no, there was a bunch of fish chasing yours. Well, there was one chasing, or you yeah, chasing yours. They were everywhere. Look at that. It's crazy. Daily double. That's a good smallie. He's like a 12 inch or so. Like, I'm, I'm happy catching him this size, and that's a donkey green sunfish. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's sick. Okay, we gotta get back in there while they're fired up. That's awesome. Good too. There he comes. Oh. oh, I got one too. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's huge. It's green sunfish land. Ayo. I mean, this green sunfish has everything. He's got the white tips on his fins. He's got the orange. He's got the black spots on the dorsal and anal fin. I mean, just lined, an orange outline. Got the bright blue on his face. I mean, that is a perfect green sunfish. Like, that's what you want to catch. Mm, get him. Oh. That's a big small mouth. Oh that's my a big gosh. one. That's a big small mouth. That's oh a big gosh. small mouth, JJ. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm putting the rod down. Oh gosh, there's a big rod. Oh, oh he's he over the, the rock. rock. He jumped over the rock. <laughs> get that thing. That was cool. Get him on the bait. Get him on the bait. Come on. Come get on. that thing. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there are some good smallies out here. Yeah. All right, there's my biggest smallie of the day so far. That was really exciting. He looked a lot bigger out there. <laughs> after catching those green sunfish, but man, that was an awesome fight. He jumped over that rock too, that was crazy. <laughs> so exciting. All right, I'm gonna send him back and we're gonna get back out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. This isn't a very big green sunfish, but I mean, considering that we're like, I mean, less than 100 yards from where we parked at, and we're catching them this quickly, catch a smallmouth and green sunfish like this. That's awesome. That's just awesome. Eating a little shaky worm. It's like some green pumpkin, and a little bit of orange in there. And I've got it on a really light shaky head because the water's pretty low. I had, I had a heavier one on at first and it was getting stuck. Like these rocks are just really chunky and got a lot of cracks in them. And um, it's not that the hook gets stuck in anything, it's just the bait just gets all wedged down in there and you lose it. So I try to keep my bait lightweight. Jay's using that weightless wacky rig or a lightweighted wacky rig, which is honestly probably the better choice, but. We're gonna stick with this for a little bit longer. You bought more choppos? Yeah. Oh. Oh gosh, what do you have? Oh. He just did me dirty. Here we go. No way. He came back out. <laughs> so that's something these little green sunfish will do. You know, they like to live in the rocks and they'll, they'll bite your stuff and they'll just take you back down there with it. Get you all snagged up. He got hooked in the bottom, but I never understand how that happens. He was hooked right there. Look at that, every one of these guys is just pristine. I've seen a couple of big ones swimming through here. I want to hook up with one. They're like three times bigger than that. Huh? Mm. That's a small one. Gotta be. How fast he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's a nice one. That's a good one. Woo! He stole my worm. Oh. Look at that thing. Look at that thing! He's fighting so hard. I think I got him pretty good. <laughs> yeah! Nice! Woo! Oh, I got him. I finally got me a smallmouth that rivals the one that Jay caught. We're still in the same pool. We're literally only like 20 yards up from where she caught her good one. We haven't even got to what I would feel like is the best spot. And the pool up ahead looks just as juicy, so I'm very excited. This here's probably 13 inches or so, getting close to a pound. He fought like crazy. And yeah, I'm just excited to get there where that faster water's moving at. Cool fish. Hey Jay, he's to the left. Reel it in, throw. Oh, he's coming to it. He's coming to it. 
He's coming to it. Got him! No! Oh no! I don't know how I didn't have him. You did have him. You just lost him. They're kind of hard to hook sometimes. <sighs> Dang, that was a big, he's a big one. He was big. He's still big, he's right there. Oh. There we go. Stay on there. I don't know how big he is. He don't feel that big, but he's running at me. Well, he got a little bit bigger. Well, he's decent. He's decent. He's actually really decent. Stay hooked, buddy. Oh. Whoa. Stay on. Oh, it's a long one. I think this is my biggest one so far. We have seen some really nice ones. Jay missed that good one right off the bat. I had one come up and swirl this jerk bait. I was thinking about putting the shake head back on because it's pretty deep and I wasn't getting that much of a reaction, but I'm gonna make a few more casts in this thing before I spot back up. But this spot looks incredible. I mean, deep hole, current, big rocks. You can't ask for more when you're wading these small mountain creeks. <laughs> I'm catching one this cast, 100%. Mile that <laughs> Got him. Stay on, be a big small mouth. Be a big small mouth. Oh, he's just spinning. He's just spinning. It's a big green sunfish though. Man, I thought I had a big old smolly. Swap back to the shaky head worm to fish in this deeper water. I mean, we've had too many big fish flash our stuff um, and just swim by. And I think getting something on the bottom like this is gonna be the ticket to get them. Oh, I saw a gar. Be a smallie. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, he's spinning him, man, there's so many. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that one. Might as well be a smallmouth bass. Woo! Look at the size of that green sunfish. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, like, you know, we're out here primarily targeting the bass, but that fires me up. Like, if we were doing, like, a, a camping session out here, this dude would be going on the stringer. We'd be cooking him up. Oh gosh, stay on here. Stay on here. Because that dude... That dude is a donkey. He wanted the smoke. It's an eagle. No, man, that's a vulture. Come on. That might be a smallie. That might be a small. Oh my gosh. Oh my, Jake, we get the camera. Oh my gosh, it's a giant largemouth. Oh my gosh, it's a big old largemouth. I'm bringing him to the bank. Come on, stay on there. Stay on there. Oh my goodness. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Get up on the bank! Yeah! Whoa, are you kidding? Man, look at Jay staying on brand with the daily double, but <laughs> before you look at her small mouth, look at this thing. Look at this thing. That's a nice one. There's green boys living in this thing. What's crazy is I was literally just thinking like, when is one of us gonna catch a large mouth? Yeah, or a spotted bass. We've only <laughs> caught small mouth and green sunfish so far. And I had just caught like four or five big green sunfish in a row and this fish bit the exact same way. And I mean, that hook just popped out. Look at that. You know, largemouth bass can get 15 pounds, but in a small place like this, this is a really nice fish. This is what we come here for. Traveled all those miles, Della's hiking, and uh, there's many more pools up ahead for us to check. And it's just cool, there are some big green ones in here, particularly this brown one. He's little a little brown. guy compared to yours. We've seen some of these this big in this pool, no <laughs> lie. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna dabble these worms around a little bit longer, see if we can't maybe get lucky with one of those, but if not, we're gonna move up to the next pool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think your bait's about to get nuked by a big green sunfish. Surprised it hasn't happened yet. Huh. Oh, there it was. <laughs> there he is, came back for it. He's a feisty one. Oh my goodness, I got that one. I got one too. Oh, I'm not gonna jerk it on that one. Yeah, I am. I decided to get him. It might be a small mouth. <laughs> it ain't a small mouth. This is bigger. I think yours is. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll never know. Hers is bigger. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's my lucky day. It's my lucky day. I found a horseshoe. That is lucky. What are the odds of finding a horseshoe? This is the first horseshoe that I've ever found out uh, creek walking. I need to put that on my belt. Look at that thing. <laughs> hey, we ain't putting that back. That's going straight in the bag. Going on the wall. Especially if we can catch a big smallmouth after this. <laughs> All right, so we just finally made it through this big pool behind us and we've reached this amazing water feature right here. It's like this is crazy. We had these big rock slabs and there's just water just rushing through them. It's not super deep. I feel like if the water was up a little bit higher, this would be like just the most, oh, Jay's missed one, the most insane fishing hole of all time. But I'm still thinking there's gonna be some fish here. I mean, it's just crazy. I've never seen anything like this when we've been out hiking around in the mountains. So I'm definitely glad we decided to check this creek out today. We're not gonna go a whole lot further upstream, but there's still a couple of holes up here and we're still looking to try to catch one more big bass. You got him, Jay? Jay's back there just waxing them. <laughs> there we go. He bit it on the top. Another green sunfish. Pretty big one. Gotcha. That feels good. That can't be a green sunfish. It's gotta be a bass. It's gotta be a bass. Be a big bass. Be big. Oh, there he is. Pretty good one. Oh no, he came off. It was a large mouth. What? Just right here. There's a bass. There's a bass. And finally, another smallmouth. In fact, it's been 10 years since we caught a smallmouth. Almost caught a smallmouth. That's not small, as long as he's not snagged. Oh, oh my, my goodness! Gosh. Is that a smallie? I don't know, I think it's a green one. It's a green one. Oh my gosh. He's got followers, if you wanna throw him behind him. He's got followers. There you go, switch it, Jay. Oh, there we go. Got him. There we go. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> Come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. We got the trinity of bass out here <laughs> in this Washita Mountain Creek. That's another pretty good large man. Not as big as our first big one we got, but dude, he train wrecked it. There was like six following. That did, was you, awesome. did you see all those fish yeah, following him? Yeah. That's crazy. I was about to take the jerk bait off. I didn't, I don't think these fish are jerk bait eaters. There's not a whole lot of silvery bait fish out here. I think they mostly hang out down the bottom, but this dude. That dude wanted it. He wanted it, stopped <laughs> it. I didn't know if I had a rock or if I had snagged a green sunfish or what had happened. Look, a spotted bass, how yeah. about it? That's awesome. Oh, 
Okay guys, well we've made it back to where we first started at this little low water bridge. We honestly didn't walk super far upstream. The fishing mm -hmm. was just so good and we were able to fish them methodically and we caught a bunch of them. Yes, we did. Most of them were green sunfish, but we caught <laughs> some donkey green sunfish and we mixed in a, good, a couple of nice bass. Uh, we had an opportunity, a big smallie. Jay hooked it. Oh yeah, I blew it. it. I blew it. But that's Man, okay. that was so upsetting. That's okay. We were able to kind of rebound and get a couple of big large mouth. You know, we still did catch small mouth, large mouth and spotted bass. Yes. So that's awesome. And green sunfish, I guess that's all we caught. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Normally we catch some long ears or something else random, but we'll take it for our first time out here in this creek. It was a lot of fun. I feel like there's a lot left to be explored, especially oh, yeah. downstream. There's some juicy stuff that looks really good downstream, but hey, we did all we can today. We were honestly kind of dumb and a little bit unprepared. We didn't bring any water or Gatorades and, and it's sunscreen. Hot. Yeah, so. I am burnt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm burnt. Oh I'm, my, oh my look gosh. Look at this, look at this. Wow. Yeah, that might sting tonight, but at least we did it all in the name of a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyways, this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We got a long drive back to uh, central Arkansas, but also on the way we're going to stop and get some food. So it's going to be a late night. Don't know if we're going to be able to pick the kids up or not, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But guys, we hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode out here exploring a new creek. We love exploring new creeks mm -hmm. in the mountains, and we're definitely going to be doing some more of that this summer. So if y'all enjoyed the video, do us a huge favor. Hit thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're, We're calling Jay. Jay. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.